Alright, hey guys. So, as you can see, my workshop is absolute chaos. <laughs> but, my box came in with the new tubs. And I went and I bought high half inch PVC. So, I want to get this rack built. Um, I was going to use my table saw. Now I'm thinking I might use the saw horses and the circular saw. And uh, do that instead as the pieces I had them rip it in half so the pieces are currently 24 by 96 inches so uh that's gonna be a lot longer than my garage is it's not a very long garage I'm gonna clear this table off for the construction and uh what I'm gonna do is I'll just pop in and I'll tell you you know what I did I'm not going to film the whole process, um, I'm low on battery right now and I'm the only person in my garage. I'm not going to run power tools and try to film it at the same time without somebody else here. That would be stupid. So, But this will give you a general idea of how I'm building my snake rack. It is going to be five tubs. I did the math, I should be able to build an entire rack that holds five tubs out of one four foot by eight foot piece of expanded PVC so I am going to double check my math and cut some shelves and then I'll show you guys what I did Out for now all right so the first thing I noticed I had them rip it in half one is exactly 24 inches and one is about an eighth of an inch under 24 which is to be expected due to the width of the saw blade that's fine though, I don't actually need them to be 24 deep uh, because the tubs I ordered from Reptile Basics, these are the tubs where you can use these, but they're 23 quart. They've got the same floor space as a 28 quart, but they're not as tall because I don't need the height for hog noses. So they're 23 quart, but you can also fit two 11 quarts or one or three eight quarts in the same space so if I ever want to swap these out I can these let's take one of these and measure it uh, or just leave it right here and take my tape measure because they're kind of stuck together at the moment and I've only got one hand sorry about all the rough uh, so these are 22 and at the handle oh they've got a handle right in the, only on one side 22 and a quarter inches long so I can make my shelves 22 and a half um because if you look these these handles right here this handle right here let's see this handle is about three quarters. Oh, there's a nice difference there. So if I make it 22 and a half, that means the tub will be. I'm going with back heat um, for now. So if I go 22 and a half, yeah, the tub's gonna be, the, the, the entrance to the tub is gonna be half an inch away from the end of. So I don't have to worry about escapes really. I might drill some holes in the shelves and put dowels in as um you know locks to make sure the snakes can't push the tub out i don't think they will though uh the only thing about this plastic is my home depot only had the half inch that had like this like wood grain ridge on one side i actually kind of like it <laughs> i'm probably gonna put that facing the outside <sighs> there's a reason i don't shoot a lot of videos outside this road is just stupid busy all the time like it's fun trying to back out of my driveway anyway I'm gonna cut the shelves um, I think they only need to be about 15.5 wide if I remember correctly so I should be able to get six shelves out of that one side yeah these tubs are 14 and three-eighths wide so I mean I don't even need to make them 
I don't even, I don't even need to make them 15 and a half inches wide. I could make them like 14 and a half inches wide. Either way, I'll cut the shelves. I'll tell you the dimensions when I'm done. All right, so I cut two shelves off on the circular saw or with the circular saw. Remembered why I hate circular saws. Got this down to a manageable size. I'm gonna split it with the table saw. I'm cutting them down to 16 inches, and then I'm gonna bring them down to their final dimension on the table saw where I actually have some semblance of control of the cuts because I am terrible with a circular saw. I had a guide on there, I was using a guide, but I still suck with it, and yeah. I'm gonna do what I know how to do, so I can do it the right way. I honestly never use circular saws because I hate them. So, I'll get a shot of all the shelves once they are done and ready to be, you know, used for what they actually are meant to be, shelves and their proper dimensions. I will also tell you those dimensions. Actually, I can tell you those dimensions now. Um, they're gonna be 24 by 15. So that's what I'm doing for the shelves. All right. You gonna record? Okay, there we go. All right, so I've got shelves. I've got back and sides. The back is gonna need to be cut down. This project has been dumb because I don't have good tools and I suck with a circular saw and my table saw wouldn't work because it's a stupid tiny Ryobi table saw and my workshop is chaos and uh, I, I, yeah. So anyway, now I take my right angle clamps and clamp these up. And I'm gonna screw them together and then I've got some eight eighth inch part hardboard I've got two pieces of this that I'm gonna use as a spacer for the tubs so, you know ventilation and some slide room and then I I'll, I'll get the first shelf put on and I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm doing I'm just <laughs> not in a good mood but I'm gonna get it done because I want this rack done and upstairs for the snakes so out. All right, hard part is done. Getting the sides on the first part. So, what you do? Put your spacers in. Boom, got your spacers. Take a single tub. I'm only gonna use one of them. Where did I put that tub? Uh, okay, there it is. Put your tub in. Boom. Okay, there's your tub. You take your next shelf and you put it in like that. Make sure it's where you want it. And then you drill holes. You guys can't see. Sorry it's so dark in here. Lighting in my garage sucks. Also, it's dark outside. But uh, you drill holes, you put screws, repeat process. Till the rack is done. My battery is at 8%. I'm waiting on dinner. I'm going to try to get as much of this done as I can today. Because like I said, I would like to get it upstairs. Probably getting it operational tomorrow. But it's just been a day. I will take video of it when it's done. And yeah. Yeah, I mean, I thought maybe an eighth of an inch was a little too much space. But this is going to be for adult hog noses. No adult female hog nose is going to squeeze through an eighth of an inch of space. And if they do, they deserve to be free. <laughs> All right, I'll come back when I'm done. So, there's something you should all know, and that is, despite my many talents, I suck at building things. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> yeah, there was some, some issues. There's some screw holes, whatever, extra ventilation. I'm about to cut the back piece to size, put it on. There's a slight overhang because I forgot that one side was longer than the other, but that's actually fine. I like kind of like the way a look, little, eh, little overhang looks. It slides. It's a little tight, which I like. 
Of course, now that I notice it, I think these shelves are a little bowed, but there's not enough of a gap for an adult hog nose to get out. So, adult female, keep in mind, these, are, these tubs are for girls. I'm gonna cut the back panel down to size, install the heat tape. I'm just gonna tape it on the back, it's back heat. Bring this thing upstairs, plug it in, make sure the temps are stable before I put my animals in it. It's ugly, it's white. Next time I'm gonna order one because I just like them better and I definitely do not have the proper tools to build these nicely but the utilitarian in me is happy in that it will work and it's going to allow me it's going to allow me to get two more adult females at some point I gotta dust it too there's PVC dust everywhere but it's a rack. <laughs> uh, the shelves are uh, 24 or just under 24 by 15. As you can see, this one got cut too small. So I just put another piece in there and screwed it in place. And then I... It, it's going to hold. I, I super glued it. I screwed it. It's fine. Um... The sides are 24 inches by 30 inches, and the back piece is going to be 16 by 30, and it's going to screw, you know, flush into the sides here, and the back side is flat. There's no overhang. So that's how I built the rack, for those who are asking. It wasn't pretty, but it was about half the price of ordering the rack. Although I did still order the custom tubs. It could have been done cheaper if I hadn't paid $8 per tub. But I like these tubs because, like I said, there's options. There's there's ones that you can fit two and three of in here. So should I want to change this up at any point, you know, maybe put males in it or something, I can get the smaller tubs. I think my males are going to stay in my baby rack. I got the wider tubs that go in there. I'll show you those later. Right now, I just want to finish this up, go upstairs and play video games, because it's been a frustrating build. And I know I probably made it a thousand times harder than it usually is, but that's just me and my lack of building skill. I mean, like I said, all in all, it, it looks alright. I wish there wasn't a bunch of holes in it. If I really wanted to, I could probably patch those and sand them. I, I don't care, because it's, it's for me, you know. I mean, nobody else is... Well, you guys are going to see it, so never mind. But the point is, I'm not selling it. It's for personal use. And when I finally decide to buy a rack that takes these tubs, which I probably will eventually, this is a temporary solution for now, um, I'll just take it apart and turn it into something else or toss it, whatever. For 76 bucks for the sheet, it was not bad, so... Uh, I'll show it to you guys one more time when everybody's inside and happy and the heat's on and all that. Out. Oh, look, he likes it. <sighs> so, I got it upstairs. And like I said, it's ugly and it's white. But it works. I put a kick plate on it. And the heat's installed and works. And the girls will like it. And the next time I'm buying one, I'm out of breath from carrying it upstairs by myself. Loki, you want to live in a snake rack? No. Kitten, you want to live in a snake rack? No. Don't. Well, now you've got video of Loki sniffing kittens, but that's great. <laughs> anyway, that's how I built a rack for all the people who are asking. I mean, I guess it's alright if you don't look too close. I do kind of like that wood paneling pattern on it. Because uh, Home Depot had this, or they had the stuff that had no patterning, but it was only 3 eighths. And getting screws into that would have sucked. I mean, the eighth of an inch does make a lot of a difference, but anyway, that's it. 
for now. Out.